Good morning. It is Saturday morning. Um, I've been working Monday Friday this week. I'm not getting a chance to get down. The only time I've been down is to water when it was a glorious day yesterday. So I watered yesterday morning and watered on Tuesday. So me and Kyle's got a few jobs to do today, haven't we, Kyle? Yes, yeah. it's going to take a long time. And even Dad dropped his phone last time. I know I dropped my phone last time, man. Right, I've got some glads to plant out. I've got some other stuff to get sorted as well. So let's get in. I've got things prepared, ready to go, so we can get them uh, planted in today. So I'll show you. First things first, get this floor tidied from the other day. So we are going to lift the onion up because it's all ready now. So we are gonna cut the onion because you, you see right now it's falling all the, the neck is falling over on this onion. So I, we are gonna cut this bit that's gonna help me use the scissors. Now we are gonna cut. I'm gonna cut because I'm gonna cut the scissors, so you always need adult. Yes. So yeah, then can I do it? All the time you need an adult to right. do this. Well you wanna cut it, you wanna cut it where it's soft. Right there, right? So yeah. So we'll put it there and then... You need an adult to do that. You need an adult to do that. So now I'm going to lift the onion up. Oh, well, you've just done it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so now we need to clean it off on the bottom. Yes. And then that's all sorted. So let's clean it up and we'll show them what it's like after. This is the giant onion done. Good size, isn't it, son? Yes. It's as big it's... as your head, isn't it? Look at that. Yes. <laughs> I mean, it's taller than my head. Is it cheese? Be sensible. Nice smiley face. Right, now that that's out the way, these these beds here, these uh, two, four, six, these eight here are clear, apart from the one at the back where the loofah is, which is growing fantastic. Um, I brought the long chilies down because they're no longer required under the lights at home, and I'm going to plant them into these 10 litre buckets in some um, Leventon's pot and bedding. So me and Kyle, and it's Leventon's M, was it M2? Yep, M2. So me and Kyle's gonna plant these in now, won't we, son? Yes. Right, so I've gotten these two long chilies in. Um, these two aren't quite ready. I'm still filling out the pots, so I'll leave them in here. I've got the steak and everything in ready to go. Um, I need to bring that down a bit. There we go, that'll be better. I'll sort that out. But um, anyways, onions out, long chilies in. I've already got some long chilies actually starting to form on here, as you can see there. So it'll be interesting to see how these grow, because I've actually never technically grown these long long chilies before. Um, and uh, we'll see what happens, basically. Had a bit of had a look and see the reason why some of these aren't growing properly and I've noticed something straight away here. Um I don't know how I've not noticed it before. Um I've got a problem here. That is thrip. With tiny little bugs, yellow bugs on here, that are sapping away at the chloroform on the inside and I can see loads of them there. So it looks like I've got thrip in here. So I'll be getting back into spraying these straight up back away again. I'll have to do it later on when the sun's down. Um but it looks like I might have actually actually lost one of these already. Yeah, that's soft that neck, so I've lost that one. Now that onion getting lifted today, Kyle. Hopefully we'll uh, keep the other ones going as long as we can. As well as them ones at the back. Right, Kyle, let's go and show them the giant carrot that we just lifted. So, this one here was the one that was growing in the one foot tube. And it's never really grown much, to be honest. Um, as you can see, it's starting to split on the back side. I've just lifted it up. It do for dinner, but it was it's not really turned into a giant carrot. It's got no form deformalities or anything like that. So there you are Kyle, you can take that for dinner. Yes, yeah, better eat it That one's sorted out. I'll not be growing in the one one foot tube again. Um these ones, apart from the end one there, the tops are looking alright, but it's not the tops we're really after. It's the underneaths. You can see there, and you cover that over a bit more as well. It's got some more side growths on the side. But we don't know what that's like on the bottom. But um, it's growing a lot healthier than the rest of them all. I'm just going to chuck a bit more compost on top of there. I, think I like the look of this one the best. Because I can actually physically see there's more than one carrot top on there. Split on the side there as well. So 
as you can see there, it's still going going out with the side. That's probably going to be the best one. But we'll have to wait and see what happens with it in any case. Right, just been showing little Kyle here. We've been tidying up these gladiola, like the glads. Uh, I got these ones from the mix of 50, 50 glads, 50 um, dahlias, and uh, the, other, the other pack as well. I can't remember what else I got. But we've just been through there and we've just been and cleaned them all out. And we've got about 40 remaining. So we'll clean the wall up there. So we've got enough to put one, one glad comb in each one of these holes. So I'm going to set these up and we want to get that done now as well. And that's what we're hoping that they're going to turn out like. Like that, because uh, I've left these ones in over winter. I've got these ones, I've taken four home. They look absolutely beautiful. I've got some yellow ones there as well. So, let's get started, son. Right, that's 32, 36, sorry, more glads put in. And in uh, eight weeks time, hopefully we'll see what happens with the flowers. Okay, we need to uh, we need to hoe across the top of that. So we'll get the hoe now and we'll quickly go across it. I'll just show, quickly show you the long runner beans. What's these, this is something else I've neglected. But uh, just coming across here, I've spotted. Yeah, not doing too bad, that. <laughs> So what I've done is I've just taken off the flowers so there's only one left and so that the plant can focus on that one. All the lower level, all the lower flowers I've taken off. Thanks to that one there, I need to take them off, take them off. So a little bit high up to manage. So this one here, there's another one starting there, there's another cluster there as well. So I'll be taking them ones off, leaving that one, leaving the one on by itself. So all energy goes into that one. Same with these ones, take the, the smaller smaller ones off. So all energy goes into that one. And then uh, we'll just have to see what happens with them. Right, we're going to go and see Grandma Maureen, aren't we? Because yeah. Grandad to needs a... We're going to take get a flower for her as well, because Grandad Dave needs a hand with something. So let's head over there. Right, now we're back to the garden. Me and Kel's going to get the tools on, aren't we? Eh? Yeah. So we're going to use the tools, and I've got some bits here. I've been getting a bit of problem with water coming in from this big uh, this big window here. So what we're going to do is I'm getting a couple of bits of uh, angle here. I'm going to put them on the outside like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fasten um, like a big sheet across the, the front there to basically stop the water from coming directly in on top of the leaks here. So that's going to be a, a fix that's needed to be done now. Just very quickly from this side, I've just grabbed two bits of plastic there. And uh, we've got some air, air flow going up. Up on that side as well. I've just joined them together the best I could very quickly there. Um, so we'll go on the inside and see what difference that's made. So there we go. That'll make a massive difference when the rain comes in because it'll not be oh, hanging over the top there. It'll be dropping off and hanging over. Um, of course, well, I'll still get in from that side, but that's something I can address um, next year, for example. Um, so yeah, that's it sorted. That's, that's the back window done. It's an additional job I wasn't expecting to get done done. Happy days. I'm going to measure our my onions now and see what I've got. I meant the leeks, not measure the leeks, sorry, not the onions. So um, as you can see, I've got my uh, CSX, CSX here. Um, I've just taken the cover off and after a week, you can see it's starting to turn white around the base, which is great, that's what I'm after. Um, it has split one flag, which I was expecting. Um, this one here as well. So um, I'm going to give this a quick measure now and uh, we'll see what size this is. So at the minute, we're looking at it just about 16 inches around. Um, I've started to cutting back with the watering um, and I'm starting to knock these flags back as well because like I say it's split on this side. We'll see where they feel where the, the, the button is and the button's about there on this side and that's only a couple of inches. We want six so it needs to be up here. Looks like I'm going to end up losing one, two, three, possibly three or four flags here. It's going to leave us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 flags, 14 flags. Um, this is going to get a lot thinner. I might even get 15, um, 14, 15 inches finally. Um, but we'll see what happens in any case. But um, 16 inches so far. So this, um, this onion, it's not my biggest. I think it's my second biggest. I've got the biggest, which I'll show you tomorrow. Um, but I'm going to hopefully lift for the show. I'll take it for the show. Um, 
I've got loads of ants around here on this air pot, so I'm going to have to be careful here. I'm going to quickly show you what size it is. Very quickly, there they are, 21, just over 21 inches. Right, I'm going to get my tape back off the ants. <laughs> it's, it's, it's mental how the different shapes here. I've got this one here. It's a different shape to that one there. And I've got, obviously, that one there as well, which is a different shape. That one and that one make quite an all right pair. <laughs> but... um. This one here is my second biggest, just over 21 inches. It's the neck as well. It's nice and tall. So um, hopefully we'll see uh, if I can get. I'm just going to leave this one in and then see what I can uh, see what I can get with it. Um, next six, seven, eight weeks before September. Take the harvest one of the cucumbers that I've got on the cucumber plant here. I've actually got two. That's ready to go there by the looks of things. But I'm going to take this one off here. So the other one can be left on. So I'm going to take this one off with a little tail and we'll have a look and see what it's like after. So there we go. Common cucumber. Nice cucumber that. I'm going to chop it and we'll give it to Elizabeth and she'll eat it like an apple. <laughs> Just while I'm on my knees down here, as you can see, the seeds that are not weeds, the ones that Kyle dropped and I've left to put them in and left them. As you can see, purple top Milan there. These are all purple top Milan basically. There's one there to double, not to split. So there's a few little little bits there, a few little ones. There's a couple of them went to seed. This one here, that one's that one's near good. That one and that one's near good. So they'll just come straight out. Get a bit of breathing space. But uh, yeah, I've got um, I've got a tomato at the back as well there. That tomato's come from nowhere. <laughs> so it's just a wild, wild. I was just expecting just to have um, common cucumbers in here. I've only got basically saved one plant because the rest of them have died off from neck rot. But that's my fault. Um, this one is still growing, still, still doing well. The the, the fruits are start uh, dying off. Like don't know why, but uh, we'll leave it. We'll see what comes of it. Let's see. It. No shows. That's what I put them in for originally. And then on the left hand side here. Oh wait, let's give Kyle a cucumber. Oh son. You get the cucumber. There you go. No, I don't like That's for your sister, man. It's not for you. So the Roma tomatoes on the right hand side here. Yes, Kyle, no about that. So Roma tomatoes are coming on well. These are plum tomatoes. Specifically grown for sauces. Suck has all sorts coming on them. Bit of neglect that's all it is but neglect never harmed I normally do better off a bit of neglect <laughs> you can't grow these as a cordon or you can grow them um as a bush these plum tomatoes Let's see what else we've got here there's any more potato any more tomatoes anyway there's a couple of that little plant there and there's some at the bottom there there's some down there there's a few little ones on there as well. I think I'll probably get enough sauce. It's soup for um, for just me. <laughs> it's a bit of a shame. Never mind. The uh, grapes are coming on fantastic. Like I say I like to just give them a give them a tap and everything, and just remove all of the smaller ones when I get a chance to do so. Just off here. Just give them a tap. Everything drop off. That's not meant to be on there. Just tickle the grapes. Get a little tickle. All the little ones should come off, and the ones that are not being. There you go, there's another one there. Another one on there, another one on there. There's little tiny ones in there. Just take them off. Let the other ones grow. That's it, sorted, done. Have a quick peek at the air. Chilies here. Some good chilies in here. With Dick in. Plenty of fruits on these, nice big fruits. Plenty on the top as well, still plenty of flowers coming off them. This little cayenne here, it's a little stumpy cayenne this one, strange. Um, but yeah, I'm getting plenty of fruits on these now when I'm just watering from below. I've just left all the side growth come on as well. I've got a bit of um, bit of, bit of bug attack, but I'll give them a spray and uh, yeah, like I say, I wasn't expecting to grow any chilies, but um, just left them to get on with their own accords and uh, I'll have a nice crop. So, 
Champion. Well, I've got Kyle down here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to let him into the cabbages and we're going to get a picture with them with the cabbage off, uh, the, the, the netting off, just so we can uh, see how big they're getting. So, taking the net off, there's Kyle next to the big cabbage. But I have to dunk in here, not just stand up. You can't stand up, can you? Yeah. There you go. Do you want to see if you can get a bit closer? Um, no. See if you can get a bit closer because you're a little bit off there. <laughs> But this cabbage is absolutely huge. It's the one I put the two. It's, um, it's like mine. I put the two. It's not like yours. Mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> Daddy's winning. But uh, there you go. Look, there's my hand. There's the heart. You can see that absolutely huge. Nice and clean as well. Beautiful. That one, I think, is a bigger. Going to be a bigger cabbage than this one here. This one's hotted up a lot earlier than this one here. This wait, one's still wait, hot enough. Wait, wait, What's this one has been a little bit easier. Oh no, it's just a little bit though, but it's clean. It's it's clean everywhere else because they kind of get to it. But it's absolutely huge. Same with that one is there, same with that this one here as well. I think this one's gonna be a big one as well. As well as that one. That one's gonna be alright. That's not the winner, that's the worst one. And this one's even worse because it's gone to seed. So you can see there now, look. It's gone to seed, so that'll be getting lifted up. And that one, I don't even know, it's it's part of Brussels sprout this. In fact, you know what it is? They're sprouts. So that's a sprout. Ah, I've got weed seeds stuff. on my leg, yeah, right. They are so prickly. Back how you go off subject son very quickly. Um that's a Brussels sprout. I knew it looked different. That's supposed to be a giant uh, giant cabbage. But, like I say, I just, I don't, I don't know, I don't know, but that's a, um, that's a, pot, that's a Brussels sprout. Never mind, right, some flowers, they're opening up, and they are, they are rather big, they're nice big sunflowers. This one's coming over, that one here at the bottom, that's just opened up as well. It's about six foot tall. These black ones are lovely as well. They're getting the, the multi heads on as well. Two of them are falling over. Uh, I managed to save the big one there. Um, and I've got, I'll show you that one there. Um, and this one's starting to open as well. These are the Titan sunflowers. Uh, so if we'll go and see them now. Ah, there she is. Whoa, hello. It's a bumblebee. <laughs> it's, a, it's a lovely, uh, sorry, I've disturbed you. Apologies. <laughs> Lovely, uh, lovely sunflowers. They're absolutely huge as well. Um, I'll have to be careful where I put them next year because that's now right next to where the leeks are. Um, might be the reason as to why them leeks aren't getting very big on that side because the sunflowers taking up all the uh, the feed. Um, I do need to put this one back up again. For that one because it's still getting. I don't even know if that's got a head on it yet. I'll have to have another look. Um, but I've got some more lilies I've to take open up as well. The white ones. The white ones are lovely. I took some home yesterday as well. Um, this is just a mass of pumpkin. <laughs> Pumpkin, two pumpkin plants. Uh, I will have to sort them out. Um, I don't have to tack them down as well. Um, see which fruits are set and where. Just because I'll take a few off, and because I only want two. Realistically, I probably only need one. But there's two plants in here. I could, if I thought about it, I could have put one plant in here, and I could have put one plant next door at the bottom because I've got spare space now. Um, but it is what it is. Let's go have a look at the morrows next door. The activity on these again. The leeks that's went to seed. It's unreal. Absolutely unreal. These two bees here. Absolutely fun. There's flies, there's all sorts on here. More bees here. If your leeks go to seed, just leave them in. Bees love them. Having an absolutely fantastic time. Oh, there's loads and loads. Right, let's go and have a look at the, the morrows. You can already see one there. Hello, baby. So. Three marrow plants starting to produce really well now. Um, I forget how quickly these grow and how big they get. I just put this in the other day. Now we need to go another two foot. That's only going two foot in a couple of days. It's crazy. Look, there's a flower there. There's a female there. There's a female there. There's a female there on this one is here. I don't like this one. It's short. It's short and it's got two things on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off. Cruel to be kind. Bye bye. So 
I'll be focusing on this one. So this when this one opens, I'll cross pollinate it. Um, and this one is Lee Heritons. So this one is doing well. The mock bags. I've got one on this side here, which I'm going to take off because that's on the side shoot. So I don't want that. I don't want that one either. So I'll leave that one there. I'll stick them across there. I'll have to bury that vine. Right? Um, the main stem is the one I'm looking for. And I've already got a nice marrow set here. Now, handy tip. This marrow has got a leaf coming from underneath it. Now, when this marrow grows, this leaf will rub against the skin of the marrow. Now, this is very sharp and spiky, which will act like a saw blade. So it's best, what it's best to do is just take that off, take any off that's around it, so that it doesn't cause any problems. Now, I did need a knife for this. In fact, I want to take it off very gently here, yeah, because I want to, I want to save this right. marrow. So that's that been taken off, so it's there, it can grow, and push the soil out here. And um, I'm going to put sand underneath it, and then, of course, the vine itself can lift and move, because I haven't buried it there. I've buried it a little bit further along, um, so that's fine there. So hopefully we'll have a big one on this one, but it looks like it's a nice, nice long shape there, and it's still pushing out, which is great. Um, it's right the right length away from the, the main root itself as well. So any more that's set on here, I will try one more just at the end, just in case there's a problem with it. So there's one there, and there's one here. Looks like that one is not going to be a good one, so I'll leave this one on, and we'll pollinate this one and see what, see what happens with it. But you can see where I did it the last time. That on this side and that'll push that down stop from trying to search elsewhere so yeah that's um that's mark bags is new from the uk record from last year oh look at that i've just spotted that one on the side vein take that off Morris for days right one of the big this one is from the third place from malvern last year um and this marrow set a little bit earlier than the others and as you can see i've already snapped a stem a, a leaf off here because it was going to be causing a problem and if we see for size there's my nine size nine foot and you want to sit next to a cloud you want to, you want to put your foot next to it no, no, no. do you like it do you so wait, wait, wait. Is that is tap it. Right, don't tap it too hard though that is getting a lot bigger than it did the other day already i took a picture of it the other day I'll, uh, I'll put the picture next to it here on this side so you can see the difference and uh, you can see there it's grown substantially since the other day so i'm going to just take a look at the ends make sure the ends all right and uh, i say i'll be putting sand under this as well but, yeah so that it helps underneath not from the beach soon. Um, so we've got another marrow on here, which is I've already set. See the end there, I've tied it up. So that's already set as well, which is great. Um, there's a side shoot there with one coming on the side. Tidy it, take that off. Get the end. And then that's redone again. So they're coming on a treat for something I wasn't going to be doing. Dahlias. Picking dahlias again. I'm going to pick some more today and take some more home. So that's the next task, Kyle. We'll get some dahlias off. Get the flowers off, yeah? Well, we've just decided that we're... Boy, we can't be bothered. <laughs> so I've done a little bit of de-weeding in the carrot box here. You can see the stations that have uh, germinated fine. I've got some later sown carrots in here. The carrots in here, these are for Christmas. Um, and uh, like I say, these flowers are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. A beautiful colour on that. Absolutely gorgeous. Same with these ones as well. Lovely. So, just going to leave them for everybody to see. Neighbours and everything as well. Um, and I'll come pick some tomorrow as well when I come down and pick this uh, this onion for the show to see if it's ready or not. We'll so, see you tomorrow and see if we've got something to take to the show. If not, we'll be going to the show and I'll show you what the uh, I'll show you the show. Um, so we'll see how people have done. Have a quick catch up with a few people as well and uh, see what we're gonna uh, see what we see. See you tomorrow. I'll just call it back and um, see uh, John in there. Um, I want to show you the greenhouse that me and John put up and I'll show you inside because uh, they've got a fantastic row going on there. That's a greenhouse that we'll put together in the day. Took it down from his allotment, brought it in. Inside. Look at that. Absolutely covered. 
what he did was he um he put some slabs down the middle he, um bored it out the inside and just filled it all with compost and he's got so much stuff going in here it's unbelievable he's got uh, obviously tomatoes there's chilies marigolds peppers cucumbers cucumber tomatoes Cucumbers, with chilies on here as well. The patchy, got the white ones on that side. He's got some um, balcony ones here as well. Nice colour. Some Scotch bonnet. They're the ones he's most looking forward to seeing. There's plenty of flower on that one as well. Different uh, types of tomatoes. I think they're they're the Roma ones. The back there. He's had. A, Fantastic, uh, fantastic grow so far, much better than the ones I've got at home. And he's got these tomatoes at the back, which uh, these are off uh, his friend's dad's, uh, Fred's friend's granddad, who had a giant tomato. And he saved, I remember I showing the seeds for them. Look at that, huge gem um, tomatoes. It's massive. He's got some gardeners delight in here. Uh, he's got a cucumber up the top here. As you can see, it's going right at the top. Look at that. Two, uh, two cucumbers on the same same side there. Look at that. I've had loads of harvest in here as well. But uh, yeah, it's doing absolutely fantastic in here. And I bet they're all on the moon as well. But yep, he's going to have plenty. It's, just, it's one of the best things he says he's done is bring it back home. And you can see it's, uh, it's definitely. It's definitely giving them lots of fruit, lots of veg, nice quick and easy salads as well. So well done, John. Well done, Leah, as well. Right, time for me to head home, and let us see how catch us tomorrow. Good morning. It's uh, now Sunday morning. It is nine o'clock on the dot. I'm down at the plot, and we're going to get an onion lifted here. Um, I'm going to take it to the Cramlington show today. Um, it's one of the only, only one of the only open shows in the country that's left. Um, still going ahead so i'm going to show you the onion i'm going to give it a quick weigh i'm going to give it a quick wash underneath and then i'm going to take it up to get it weighed in and i'll show you the show later on because it doesn't open till 12. now as you've seen before these are three of the five uh, three of the, the big heavy onions there's one in that corner which i've not touched i've not looked at and i haven't been able to get that to because since i put the kohlrabi in now, I was pleasantly surprised yesterday when I came down because I've not done anything with it. All I've done is water through the gap down the bottom. Um, and as you can see, it's a big onion. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than what the other, two, the other ones are. Um, you see, I've got a bit of thrip damage as well. Just like, um, you can see the thrip running around there. Um, so that's going to get pulled out, like I was saying yesterday. So that's, that's what that damage is up the top, you see. So um, anyhow, on my boots because I need to get this pulled and get it washed off. I'm going to get it pulled out. We'll have a quick measure and we'll have a quick weigh. Well, that's it pulled. Let's have a look and see what the size is. Let me take a measure. Two ticks. It's measuring in 26 inches round, which is fantastic. Considering that one's measuring a 21, 22. Um, and the rest of them. <laughs> I don't even know what the other ones are doing. Um, but I'm going to get this um, cleaned off now. Clean the bottom off. I'm going to leave a lot of the skin and stuff on. Um, unless I'm totally take it off when I get up there. But uh, I'm going to get this done now as well. Right, let's get this on the scales. See what the weight is. So I'm going to stick that on there. Sits nice down. I'll wait 10 minutes for this to settle, settle itself down. I'm looking at 8.4 pounds. So, eight, one, eight, two, eight, three, eight point four pounds. So just under eight and a half pound, which isn't too bad, is it? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Target hit. I'm still waiting for the other ones to come through, but um, I'll take that up. Not get anywhere with it because I'm sure there's a lot of people with a lot bigger onions than that. But you see, you've got to be in it, haven't you? <laughs> right. Head off to the same Benedictine and get this onion put in. So, time to go and have a look at the show. Head in. I'll show you around. So we'll start here with the heavy onions and this is from the last place all the way through to first place and we'll take a look and see if we can see where mine is here. So um, yeah, there's some fantastic entries here and there's you can see mine there, number 19. 
didn't do too bad, to be honest. It would come 13th place. Um, obviously, progressively getting bigger and bigger, and there's 8th place. There's a familiar name, John. Thank you very much, John. It was nice to see you up today. Well done on your 7th place. Your good lady won 5th as well, so she's beating you. <laughs> that was a good That was a good laugh to see today. Um, all the way through the third, well done Mick Cook, well done Barbara Cook, and well done to John Peace as well for your first place with a 6.07 kilo onion. Moving on to pot leaks here. So here we've got first place, which was Peter Holden. So once again, well done Peter. Once again, it was nice to catch up with you today. Um, and here's the scorecard for first place today. Had some nice, uh, nice flowers there as well in the buckets. Moving on to second place here, Mick Wrightson. Second place here, and once again, there's a scorecard. Something to keep an eye out for for the future as well, for um, obviously size and stuff. Third place there, fourth place, fifth all the way through. There was a lot, a lot of entries here. Absolute load of entries. And I'll take you through to the rest of them as well, and we'll have a quick look through. So there's the eighth place there, and going all the way through here. There were some really nice leaks, nice looking leaks. Some of them still had a bit of dirt on the bottom, which I was quite surprised at, but obviously the judges picked up on them straight away. Well, I wasn't expecting it to be a very busy show today, with it being pretty much the only show in the UK going ahead. So it was a lot, a lot of people entered the show this year. And we've just been progressive all the way through from first to last place here. There was a few which I spotted were a bit short, a few which were, weren't as white as, as others. That just goes along with the blanching them and the collar in them a lot earlier as well. We'll still continue on with the pot leaks here. Yeah? It was interesting to see some of the judges' notes as well because it's always handy to look and see what they were looking for so you can make improvements in your own grow as well. I definitely picked a few things up from these as well. Obviously, that likes to keep the clean roots and uh, obviously blanching up and colouring up when you can. So, moving on to the last table here. Yeah? As you can see, there's some greening on the barrels and things, there's different sizes. And then, onto here, these are all the leaks that have been disqualified because they weren't sound and to NPLS rules. That's the National Pot Leak Society rules. They either had holes in the bottom or they weren't six inches to the button. And as you can see, there's a... Uh, there was about the same amount of people that unfortunately got disqualified than there were that actually showed in the show. Moving on to the intermediates, and these are leaks that are basically uh, between 8 inches and 14, I do believe, if memory serves. Um, moving from four all the way from last to first place there. Third, Peter Holden. Second, Alan Stoko. And as you can see there, there's Peter's the scorecard there. Some lovely specimens. Some great looking uh, intermediate leaks. And he has first place here, which is Kevin Earl. Congratulations, Kevin. And there's a scorecard there. Now we'll move on to the Blanche leaks, or long leaks as like people like to call them. And once again, from last to first. So we're just having a look at everybody's entries here. Once again, you can pick up tips and things like that just by looking at the scorecards and stuff. There's the eighth place, seventh, all the way through to first place. So we'll have a quick look at third, second, and first here. So once again, to raise the magic number for Peter, apart from his pot leaks. <laughs> well done. And all the way through there's second place there. And on the first place now as well. So very well done. Let me see there's a scorecard there. Some nice uh, some nice blanched weeks there. 
Right, there we go. First show done. Got 13 per onion, which isn't too bad. Didn't come last. It's better on last year. Um, right, I'm going home for my dinner. Um, and see, uh, come back up later on to pick my stuff up. Well, that's me back home, bellied filled. I've got the video to edit. Um, I've been, I've been, uh, I'll be very busy the last two days. Obviously, with all the footage I've managed to take there, I need to edit all that now. Um, so I'm going to say goodbye, and I'll catch you all on Wednesday. I hope you've enjoyed the past couple of days and the look around the garden and see how things go. And I'm pleased I managed to get that onion in the show as well and see the see how the show went as well. So congratulations to all the winners. Well done, all the people that organised it as well. Um, John Swalsby, Peter Kerry, uh, everybody else that helped out as well. It was nice to see a lot of friendly faces today, um, and uh, I look forward to the next one. So take care. What you guys are doing? Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time.